Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Overlander Ruse. Uh, I promised in the last video that we would talk about the Go Rhino Extreme Overland Rack System, the XRS, uh, and let's do that now. Uh, we have a great opportunity to do that. Uh, if you're looking for a rack that has tons of options for mounting and tons of accessories and uh, ways to outfit it for every adventure you might be on, this might be the rack for you. But watch all the way to the end, we'll talk about some of our concerns with the rack. We'll go over some of the things we liked in the beginning. Hey, if you're a returning subscriber, I can't thank you enough uh, for being one of those initial subscribers when you got in when there was nobody here. So thank you, thank you for supporting us. We love that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave some comments below about things you'd like to see. We wanna get connected. We wanna develop this community uh, of like-minded overlanders, overlanding with family, and have these gear discussions, these trip reports and things like that. Uh, we can't do that if you don't subscribe and, and get connected, get notified of the new videos coming out. I'd love for you to be part of this. Uh, this is going to be an awesome adventure for all of us. So please join us. The rack itself weighs about 160 pounds. Uh, it's pretty lightweight overall, super easy to install. My recommendation when you are installing it is to uh, keep these feet loose on the bottom. Uh, that way they can pivot. So don't put these top bolts in just yet. Put the bottom bolt in. Uh, and then once you have your bottom bolt in and your feet mounted um, properly, then you can put those second bolts in and that will allow uh, you to be able to properly seat this thing within your truck. Uh, the other cool thing I like about it is that it comes with both mounting options, right? If you have the trail rail system uh, from Mopar or another company that sells them, you can use that. It comes with all the hardware for that. Or if you don't have that, you can also mount it to the bed rails itself. And it comes with all the required equipment for that. So you're not buying two different kits. Um, and if you get the trail rail system later, you can always just switch out to, to mounting it that way if you wanted to. Super good option. Like I said, this is a very budget friendly, but packed full of options and packed full of features uh, bed rack. So the fit and finish on this rack is, is actually really fantastic. The powder coat, it's a textured powder coat. Uh, I don't have any issues with that. It looks great. It's gonna hold up awesome. Um, it all came in unscuffed, no rust spots or anything like that. It took some steps to reduce rattling and quite honestly, I don't have any rattle out of this rack, but in between every joint uh, is some nylon washers uh, so that is a, is a good way to kind of reduce some of the rattling, but I mean, quite honestly, shaking the whole truck and it's, it's rock solid, no rattles, no squeaks, uh, anything like that. So the rack itself comes with one of these panels, which are pre-drilled for roto packs. They're pre-drilled for, uh, just about anything you want to hang on here. You can do, uh, Molly type pouches through, uh, the metal holes. Uh, there's just a myriad of pre-drilled holes in here. Mount anything you can think of, not a big deal. The cool part is that you can mount these panels on the top, the bottom, the inside here without any special brackets or any standoff brackets or anything like that. So some of the other companies offer because we have these four core aluminum keyhole type slotted systems. Let's see if I can kind of show you in the back here. So you can kind of see it. Uh, you get your keyhole here, you get your slot here. It, uh, accepts a quarter inch, uh, I think it's a number 20 hex. I'll mount all that stuff in the, the links below. Um, and you just slide your bolts through that little keyhole and it allows you to mount anything anywhere that you really need it to. Uh, so they have that on all four sides of these uh, vertical and horizontal risers as well, which I'll show you. Uh, so like I said, unlimited mounting options in here. It's a, f a fantastic setup to just carry whatever you need to carry and not worry about how you're going to fit it all into your space. Uh, so it's a blessing and a curse, right? We want to carry everything known to man. We just want to carry what we need out there. Uh, so with that being said, the rack itself has a 300 pound dynamic uh, weight limit and 600 pound static. So dynamic is kind of how the rack reacts when you're moving and static is when you're, you're sitting still. So the heavy tent on top, maybe we have some gas cans and axe, a shovel, high lift. Now we're getting close to that 300, 300 pounds. So when planning your trips, think about what you need to bring, what you don't need to bring uh, and not pack just about everything under the sun. All right, so the other really cool feature of this rack uh, that I feel like you guys really need to know is that it's got a ton of accessories that you can purchase through Go Rhino uh, or its affiliate companies. Uh, you name it, they have it and they have more on the way. Uh, I've asked them about that. They said, stay tuned for for more options, uh, but they have uh, a rail, a, a grab handrail system that'll go here that you can also use as a reel to hold your toe straps if you wanted to. They have uh, tie down points that mount to the four core lock systems. Uh, they have, have a table will mount uh, out here. It's pretty bright out here. So 
you would take this panel off, right? And you can still mount an axe and a shovel to these four core uh, aluminum lock systems. And then you take this panel off and you can mount a table on top of what you've already mounted that will sling down. And it is aluminum based, so you can have like a work surface there. And then it will have another one of these panels on the outside that you continue to mount stuff. So you'd have basically two mounting surfaces that make up a pretty similar footprint. All right, so I promised you at the end, we talked about some of the things that we didn't like. Um, we don't love the plastic connections and I, I'll kind of tell you why. We have some concerns about the weight of the tent and some of these aluminum bars flexing a little bit on that plastic. My concern is the way that they're mounted and then the way that they're designed is over time with the, a little bit of flex that's happening and maybe the, the flux in temperature, whether it's colder or hotter, weakening that plastic over time and maybe stripping or, or cracking that plastic. And then I don't want to have a yard sale on the side of the road or on the side of the trail. Uh, so just something to keep an eye on, something to consider. The more I think about it, it's probably fine. I reached out to them to find out if it was uh, plastic surrounded the metal a metal core to the plastic and it's not it's just all plastic uh, i'm sure they've done their r d it shouldn't be a huge huge deal uh, but it's just something to consider i'll show you guys those in a second uh, and the other thing that we had a concern about was with the soft top it's not full cab height so it doesn't come flush with that back uh, hoop in the soft part so if you want to slide your tent all the way forward you're gonna have to come up with a about three inches of height to do that so the the way that we did that is we used go rhinos tent quick disconnects uh, wasn't fully tall enough to do that just yet. And I'll walk you through the quick disconnects here in a second. Uh, but we had to build some spacers to get us about three inches of height. And three inches of height just barely gets us there. I'll make another video about mounting a tent this huge uh, on a bed rack this small with a soft top because that created a whole bunch of issues that uh, we weren't really anticipating and that we haven't seen anyone really talk about. So that'll be a short video. Stay tuned for that one if you guys are interested. Comment below uh, so we can, we can get the, the stuff that you want to see out to you. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, uh, before I go any further, definitely hit us up in the comments or slide into the DMs on my Instagram page, which I'll link down at the bottom too, and I'll be happy to connect with you guys and, and kind of walk you through or show you specific things or take pictures. Uh, like I said, let's get connected. Let's, uh, let's build this community. But uh, the quick disconnects for the tent. Yep, so there they are. They look like almost uh, like engine mounts uh, to a degree. I wish I had brought one out in the woods with me that I could show you. Uh, they come in packs of four. They're about $179, $121. I can't really remember what we paid for them. Uh, and this large asked for six mounting points. Uh, so we had to order two packs. We have two extra ones. And I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with those two extra ones to kind of strengthen the system up. Cause you can see we have a lot of overhang uh, with the tent on the back end because we had so many issues with the soft top and mounting this tent. And yep, so here are these uh, tent quick disconnects. Uh, they use your stock hardware uh, that slide into the tent rails to the top part. Uh, the bottom part uh, mounts to your four core system and you can kind of see some of these grooves uh, better that I was talking about here and they're all, all four sides. Then they have these uh, quick disconnect pins in them to be able to pull them out uh, when you want to disconnect the tent. So the tent mounts themselves are zinc coated metal. They look like laser cut metal. The welds look fantastic on them. The bushing is our, is a polyurethane bushing with a steel uh, sleeve in the middle. So I don't have any issues with how that's mounted. I don't have any issues with squeaks or rattles. The tent is, doesn't move other than uh, when you put some pressure on the tent, you can probably see it. These bars start to flex, right? And then you can kind of see maybe the moving in the plastic. So that is where our concern uh, lies a little bit. Uh, but like I said, we don't have a lot of issues with it moving down uh, when we're on the road. Uh, it doesn't squeak, like I said. So these are actually the, uh, this is probably not endorsed by CVT at all, but these are the pieces that go, uh, that would normally mount under here and then uh, tie into your crossbar. Uh, we use them as spacers down there. And then over there, we added a third piece. You can kind of see it. Um, to it to get us a full three inches of height. Uh, if you were to just use the tent mounts on the rack itself, you, you're only getting about two and a half to two and a quarter inches of, of uh, height over the rack itself. Now they do sell some brackets to mount another roof rack type setup on top of this that would gain you some height as well. So that's an option there. We decided not to go that route. So I think what we're gonna take is those other 10 quick disconnects 
and use some U-bolts and mount them right here, mount them up here, and that should give us uh, a little more stiffness, a little more strength on these steel bars and not just the aluminum to kind of take some of the weight off. All right, guys, I know that was long and I'm probably a little wordy and maybe more information or less information than you wanted to know. Uh, overall, great rack. I, uh, I really enjoy it. I really like it. I'm happy with the purchase. Just a little concerned about those plastic uh, crossbars, uh, but I, uh, I, I really don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm just going to keep an eye on it for my own sanity. No big deal there. Guys, please comment down below anything you want to see, any videos you'd like me to make. This is video number two of our new adventure on YouTube trying to develop this community. So please share this with your friends, pass it out, uh, comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It would help us a lot to really get, get the reach out and to uh, talk to and connect with as many people as possible. <laughs>